Ford's second generation Transit Connect is in this much improved form a compact van with big ideas. It costs as little to run as a smaller LCD, yet if specified correctly can swallow almost as large a load as a medium sized model from the next class up. It'll take passengers as well as packages, deal with long loads in its stride, and look after your life with its clever SYNC 3 telemetry. In short, if you were shopping in this segment, you'd have to consider it. If ever you needed proof that modern vans have become completely car-like in terms of the technology they use, then this improved version of the Mark II Transit Connect provides it. If you're prepared to pay extra, this van will park itself, stop itself to avoid an accident, and even find you a restaurant, a fuel station, or a parking space. Uh, this Ford has evolved beneath the bonnet too, thanks to the installation of a more refined and efficient 1.5-litre EcoBlue diesel unit, and that's available in a choice of 75, 100, or as in this case 120 PS outputs. Avoid the base unit and there's the option of a new 8-speed automatic gearbox and the brand also offers an alternative 100 PS 1 litre EcoBoost petrol power plant for urban businesses likely to be carrying lighter loads. Uh, whatever your choice beneath the bonnet you'll find that this Transit Connect has retained its segment leadership in terms of drive dynamics. Uh, once you've dropped off your load you can even imagine rather enjoying yourself on the way home around the twisty stuff in one of these up to a point. Mindful of the fact that this Transit Connect would also form the base for two car-like MPV Torneo models, Ford has styled it to look as interesting as the necessarily boxy shape would allow. Uh, the main visual change over the original version of this second generation design is the adoption of this three-bar Transit grille. Inside, if you happen to be familiar with the original version of this second generation model, you'll notice quite a few changes with this revised version. Uh, smarter trimming materials feature and the centre stack is completely different with redesigned ventilation controls and if you paid extra, this smart 6 inch SYNC 3 colour touchscreen sprouting from the top of the fascia. Now, Transit Connect buyers can choose between either the usual two-seat format that we have here or the dual passenger seat that we'd recommend. The other advantage of ordering the dual passenger seat is it can be combined with a useful load-through hatch, which enables you to push long items through from the cargo area. Right, let's look more closely at load bay practicality. Now, the amount you can carry will obviously depend primarily on your choice between the short wheelbase L1 variant and this long wheelbase L2 model. Both body styles offer 1,269 millimetres of load space height and 1,538 mils of load space width. That's a figure that narrows to 1,249 mils between the wheel arches. The L1 offers 2.9 cubic metres of capacity and a door to bulkhead load space length of 1,558 mils. Uh, thanks to an extra 400 mils of body length, this L2 version offers 3.2 cubic metres of capacity and a door to bulkhead load space length of 1,950. 58 mils, which means in an L2 you could accommodate two Euro pallets rather than the usual one. Uh, specifying the useful load through hatch into the cabin allows you to increase your loading length considerably uh, to 3 metres in the L1 or as much as 3.4 metres in this L2. Uh, one sliding side door is standard and in the L2 it's wide enough to allow you to load in a Euro pallet from the side. It was the Transit Connect that properly established the compact van segment, and it's this model line that has probably done most to further develop it too. What hasn't changed in two decades though is the class-leading drivability of this LCV. Add to that the fact that it's unbettered in its class in areas like in-cab infotainment and the availability of camera-driven safety provision, and you can see why it remains the segment sales leader in our market. Still an odd job van perhaps, but these days a very clever one indeed.